What's up everyone, it's your boy Norn Rad 89 here bringing another Rad Movie Review and today we're going to be talking about Doctor Sleep, the sequel to the popular Stanley Kubrick film The Shining based on the Stephen King novel. This is also based on a Stephen King novel as well, so let's talk about how good this adaptation was. Roll it! So Dr. Sleep is the 2019 sequel to Stanley Kubrick's popular The Shining film starring Jack Nicholson. It's definitely cra kind of crazy to tackle a sequel this far from the original film, but let's get down to talking about some of the positives of this movie. So my favorite, favorite, definitely key positive for Dr. Sleep is it is so much different from that previous Shining film. Like, of course, that's a Stanley Kubrick film. He definitely has his own style, but this one is another film that is a sequel, but has its own style completely. But it also builds on the lore of the original film. So it really does everything you want a true sequel to do. You know what I mean? It has its own style. It's not a copycat, and it adds to the universe, and you really do love that kind of stuff. And add to that, we have some amazing actors that come into this film, like Ewan McGregor and Rebecca Ferguson. Ewan McGregor plays Danny, an older version of Danny from the first film, and Rebecca Ferguson is like our main antagonist character. She's so pop, like just so amazing in this film. I wanted to say popular, but she's so just amazing in this film. The her portrayal and her like you know ambiance on screen is just it's captivating and I really do like her character and her lines and all the writing in this film it's very powerful very interesting all the scenes really do have something to say and that's what I really liked about this film is like it might be kind of slow paced for like about the first 35 minutes but there's still stuff going on that you're interested in or you're finding out about. Also, we have some top-notch CGI and the world building just making like some of the dream sequences and all the powers and the way they're like portrayed on screen. Like, oh man, like I said, it's a visual feast for the eyes, but also it's it's not scary. I wouldn't say it's terrifying, but it has a good like atmosphere to it, like that creepy coloration that they do and color saturation with the screen, the way the camera tilts and like, you know, you enter the dream world, like just stuff like that. It's like, it really does have its own flair and own style compared to that first film. We also have an amazing actor in Kylie Kieran. She does such a good job. She is a new character in this film, and she's a protagonist character along with Ewan McGregor. And it's really cool to see someone else who has the shine like Danny, and they're able to use that power, and they have like a special connection, the two of them. So it's really cool the way they handled it in this film. I think like in this film, like is a lot better the way they handled it compared to like in uh, the Star Wars sequel trilogy, the way that they did Rey and Kylo's connection. This is a much, much better representation of how it should have went. So I do like this film. Like I said, it has a lot to offer and especially horror fans like, oh man, this is a film that I've been waiting for. And like I said, it is kind of dangerous sometimes to tackle a sequel this far from the original one. But man, this one really does build on the world aspect for sure and add so much to the lore. So let's get down to talking about some of the negatives of this film. And I really did have a blast with this film. There's not that many negatives at all. And my negatives are only really like nitpicky things. And it's like towards the end of the film, the third like act, the climax, it does kind of rush through it a little bit. And I do like the fact that they tried to pay homage to the original film. But some of the stuff that does happen, it becomes a little bit tropey. And I didn't really need every aspect of that ending scene, but I wanted it to be stretched out a little bit. I wanted a little more confrontation and some other, you know, awesome writing and like just more powerful climax. But like that's just kind of like a nitpicky thing. Like I said, overall, the rest of the film is just so amazing. It's such a journey. And like I said, the actors in this film do such a good job. You really do believe them as their characters and forget that they're even actors like they just oh it's a really powerful film like I had a blast with this film and I think it's a very successful sequel to The Shining so overall in my book for the rad rating 
Dr. Sleep's going to get a 9 out of 10. This is a very strong, I wouldn't say it's a horror film. It's more of a thriller, but it's a very strong thriller film. I highly recommend this film. This is a must buy for sure. Like once I have the opportunity to, I'm going to definitely buy this on like film because it's so great. I would return to this like tomorrow or today. I would easily return to this film because it's that engaging. Even though the story content is kind of thick and heavy and dark, it still has so much else going on in the film that it's going to keep you enthralled and keep your eyes on the screen. Thanks for sticking around with me all for another rad movie review. I hope you enjoyed it. Share in the comments your thoughts. I would love to hear from all of you. And definitely hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the cha on, on the channel of all the videos that I post. Definitely stay up to date because I got a lot of stuff going on. I'm also following along with Rick and Morty Season 5. So once Episode 4 drops, I'll have a review for that. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.